Howdy, y'all. Today. Son of a gun. Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Mayhem's Fab Lab channel. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted by my air compressor, which... Yep, still going. Anyways, so today, what we're doing is cutting off all the old suspension mounts, uh, front and rear track bar, upper and lower control arms, and uh, getting a clean frame. Uh, I borrowed my friend's plasma cutter. I'll give you all some specs on it. It's a Yes Welder Cut 55DS, I believe cuts through the stuff like butter. It's pretty good. I will warn you, if you do try to do this, use the 240 outlet or have a dedicated 110 outlet circuit. I used it the other day <laughs> and blew out my 110 circuit. So I gotta get a new outlet for that one. Oops. So, on with the show. We're gonna get to cutting and then probably grinding and maybe cut some more, and then grind. Body da. Have fun. So I forgot to tell y'all, it's a work night. So, what are we drinking tonight? We got, we got Daddy's Sippy Cup again. And Rabbit Hole Boxer Grail Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Now I tell you what, this stuff is good. And if you ever get the opportunity to tour Rabbit Hole in downtown, uh, I think it's Louisville. Yeah, it's Louisville. And downtown Louisville, Kentucky, I highly recommend it. It is pretty sweet. It's a, when we went there to do the bourbon trail, it was probably my, one of my favorite ones. It would just, you could, you could just, you know, it, it was very interactive. That's all I got to say. So... Let me show you what we got done today. Uh, I gotta buy some more consumables for my uh, welder here, or my uh, plasma cutter. So let me show you what I got done. We got the captain's side lower control arm off. I haven't got the fronts off yet. And we got the captain's side rear, lower, and upper off. We got the rear track bar off. Uh, notice this is about where my uh, Plasma cutter started degrading, so you can tell. And then uh, I got, I started getting the drinker side. Uh, I got, well, I got the lower control arm and the upper control arm mount off. So I'm going to go on the old yeswelder.coms and check out, uh, get me, get me some uh, consumables so I can keep on working. So that's all I'm going to do for tonight. But I'm going to, this video is going to keep going. I just got to order parts and then I'll keep on trucking. And you'll see me whenever I got the consumables. So stay tuned. 2,000 years later. 
Welcome back. It's been a couple days. I was honestly waiting on the uh, consumables for my plasma cutter to come in. Looked at the uh, tracking. They ain't gonna be here till Monday. Today's Saturday, so I decided I was gonna do a little bit of cleanup around the shop, get some of the uh, dirt and junk off the floor, maybe organize a little bit, because uh, kind of a almost pro tip, because I'm living through it. If you clean up as you go, you don't have as much of a mess and you don't bring the mess around all the time. You know what I'm saying? I don't bring the metal dust into my house if I clean it up when I'm done. For the most part. Regardless. So what I'm going to do today, since I don't have my consumables, I'm going to take the old grinder and the sanding disc and or maybe the grinding disc, I don't know, depending on how heavy that stuff is. And we're going to tackle some of these things that we cut off. Um, I still got a, I still got more stuff to cut off, but the the plasma cutter, the, the tip on it was too degraded to keep going. So I'm going to do what I can with what I have for right now. Um, I'll show you some of the work that we're going to be taking off. And uh, I'll show you some of the tools that I'm going to be working with, including PPE or personal protective equipment, because... Turns out that your nose can get clogged with a bunch of junk when you grind stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna turn you around and check y'all, uh, show y'all around. So, what we're gonna be working with today? Whoop, got that here. This is a an N95. Those are kind of popular nowadays, aren't they? I'll show you. Here's the 3M label. Got the Cool Flow respirator. 8511 N95. Uh, yeah, I don't. I've ground with uh, without a mask on before, and I'm blowing black boogies for the next couple days. So, yeah, yuck. Uh, we're gonna be working with some Norton Red Heats, 40 grits. Clean up the frame there, and then cool thing about my Miller Digital Infinity helmet, other than the extremely poor lens. Uh, quality that I have going on. If you look in here, let me turn this on. See right there, it's on weld, but if you hit the power button, you got cut, grind right there. So that's what I'm going to be using on the grind section. Then they have X mode. Oh, let me go back to X mode. Grind. X mode. X mode is it, it figures it out for you. At least that's the way I understand it. I usually just go in their respective, you know, Cut, grind, weld mode. So, I'll be in the grind mode today. All right, so here's what we got here. We cut off this. Honestly, look at this right there. That looks pretty dang good, doesn't it? And then it kind of, this side's not too bad. And then we kind of got into this junk up here. And here. Eh, it's, 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 it's a little bit, a little bit gross, but... You know, we got it into the frame there a little bit, but I'm not, I ain't too worried about... Oh, sorry. Right in here. We got it into the frame a little bit, but I ain't too worried about that. Probably right about... Uh, well, right where it ends, so probably right about there is where we're going to drill a hole for our uh, drainage so we don't have the issue that I have with my old frame where stuff and junk just collects in it. Uh, let me go back here. You can see the tip on the plasma starts degrading pretty pretty good right about here you can tell definitely down in here it's it's pretty pretty well junk by this point that's not too bad right in there and then this was the last thing that i cut off was this over here you can see it's pretty pretty gross but we'll uh take care of that with the old grinder and grinding wheel and whatever the case may be So what we're going to start off with is just a cutoff wheel and cut off what we can, even with the frame or so, like that. And then we'll come back in and maybe get the uh, get the old chisels and try to cut off what I can. I don't know. We'll see.
I'll show you where I'm at so far. See what I'm doing here. Kind of using the old, oh, sorry. Using the old pry bar. Bend out on it a little bit. Get as much bend out as I can on it. Then come back through with the old jeet, jeet, jeet. Cut a little bit away. See, I'm trying not to get into the base metal. Just trying to cut a little bit away at a time. It's very time consuming. Uh, but it's uh, it'll be well worth it in the end. So I'm gonna keep go doing doing that, and I'll put you on a, all on a time lapse just to show you what I'm doing. Scoot you back a little bit, and uh, and then I'll maybe take some video here and there, show you. Uh, but that's pretty much the process I'm gonna use for pretty much everything. And then once we get it done. We'll come back with those flap discs and we are right in there. Blend that in and make it look good as new. So I'll sketch. Yeah, I'll set you all back a little bit, and uh, we can uh, do a time lapse here. And there you have it, got that side cut off. I mean, whew, hey, it's still hot. But for uh, time purposes, I'm just gonna show y'all what I do here to clean this up. And then uh, you just rinse and repeat on all the other ones. So let me go get the, uh, the old 40 gritter and uh, we'll, uh, I'll show you that. So there you have it. It's not perfect. And see, uh, I, I actually initially came in from this side to try to cut down the weld. Um, I must have had it at an angle and it went into the base metal, but I'm not too terribly worried about it. I mean, it cleaned up pretty nice. And, you know, now we'll take, I probably could do this here because this is, yeah. Let's just do that there too, show you, show you how that works. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Got my glasses fogged up from this stinking mask, but I'd rather have that than boogies. There you go. So I'm gonna repeat that on this side here. Go on to the back. Just repeat it and try to clean it up as best I can. So I'll do that and then come back and you guys can see the finished product. Two hours later. All right, look at that. So I did a little bit more work on this side. There was a little bit of a hump. I thought it was a cut in, but it actually wasn't a cut in. It was a hump still. So got that side all cleaned up. There's a little bit of a nick right there. That's all right. Clean it up. I even came down here. There was some rough junk down here. But it's all nice and smooth now. I'll come on in on the inside. 
So obviously I still have to cut these upper mounts off, but that's all right. Look how smooth that is. Oh, just, just, just look at it. So I got to do that on all the other ones. I told you I was going to show you all the other ones, but that's a lot of work. So this will be the example. I'm going to do that on the, all, the, all the other ones. And next week you'll see the finished product. So, hope you all uh, enjoyed today's video. Well, the last couple days worth of video. This week's video, how about that? I'm going to uh, keep on trucking here. I'm safe. I got this guy on. And uh, I'll see you all next week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, youtube -y stuff. Put it down there. And, uh, yeah, make sure to check out our Facebook and Instagram. I, like I said in previous videos, I'm not that great at Instagram. I'm getting a little bit better, but, you know, do all the likes and stuff. I, that helps grow the channel. So, thanks again. Bye-bye. <laughs>